Steele, things aren't always as they appear. And if you don't believe it, we have someone here to prove it. Jesse Hawkins, one of the extreme scientists from the Imagination Station is here with us. Welcome this morning, Jesse. Thanks, Chris. All righty, what are we gonna be doing today? We're gonna be talking about a, uh, a first of all, a brand new, fun and exciting uh, exhibit that you guys are gonna have at the Imagination Station. You're gonna give us sort of a uh, little hands-on demonstration to kind of get us started today. What do we have? Um, well, today, first of all, the Mindbender Mansion is all set up and ready to go. Um, we're opening up this Saturday to the public, and it's going to be really exciting. I've been up there a couple times. It's really, really fun. We have 40 individual brain teasers and five group activities. Can't get better than that. A, a whole day full of fun activities, Mindbenders yep. activities. It's going to be great. What are we going to be doing today specifically with this experiment? All right, well, today we're kind of talking about how things aren't always as they seem. And, you know, magicians for years have been doing that water to wine trick, right? right. You've probably seen that before. So do you think you'd be capable of doing that? I've been trying for years to figure out how to do this. <laughs> well, maybe we'll finally realize that dream this morning. All righty. Why don't you go ahead, take that glass of water right there, go ahead and pour it right into okay. the other beaker and we'll see what happens. And this is water here, correct? Yep, it's okay. water. All right. Check it out. What? Let's oh, look, all right, let's pure look water this. right here. What it's is, pretty pink, right? What's going on right now? Nice little rosé. Well, how about we finish up and then we'll explain it a little bit because right now it's, it's pretty cool. Fair enough. So we have this other beaker, so why don't you go ahead and pour it right back into the other beaker. Okay. You made it into wine, it wouldn't be as cool if you couldn't change it back. All right. Go ahead and pour it nice and slow. Look at that, it's wow. going into it pink. And coming out crystal clear once right again. Right back to water. All right, so what we did, it was, it was water, but it had something in it called an acid base indicator. Okay. When we poured it into the first beaker, we had something called sodium hydroxide in there. It's a base and it reacted with that indicator to turn pink. I didn't know, was it just a very small amount of liquid? Oh yeah, there was only there? about five drops in there. Five you drops, which is really why tell. we couldn't really see it. The, <laughs> the wonders of it's magic tricky. right there. Okay, so then we poured it in there, the reaction occurred. Mm -hmm, and turned it pink. Turned it pink. But then the third beaker had a tiny little bit of acid, which also reacts with that indicator, and turned the liquid back into clear. All right, so we could go back and forth just like that with a little bit of science, seems, a little bit of a basic reaction right there. Yeah, it seems pretty simple, right? And this type of indicator is the exact same type that's used in something called disappearing ink. I'm sure you've heard of that yes. before. So we mixed up a little bit of disappearing ink back at the imagination station. We're going to test some of that out today. Sound good? Okay. Sounds All good right, with me. So we'll just go ahead and let's just write your name on here. All right. Look at this stuff. It goes away before you can write it all. So turn it around. I wrote it on there, there you and go. it's almost gone already. Why don't you yeah. go ahead and blow that blow in there for me? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna run out so of breath here. You know, it's starting to disappear pretty quickly. It you is. know, what are you blowing out? Uh, you carbon me? dioxide. Carbon dioxide, absolutely. And that carbon dioxide is reacting with the ink, and it's actually making it disappear, just like the carbon dioxide in the air is making it disappear. So the reaction with the carbon dioxide is what, uh, I mean, the chemical reaction there, or what is, is happening with that to make yeah, it Yeah, there's away? a chemical reaction that's happening with carbonic acid that's okay. actually making that indicator turn back to clear. And so a lot of times, you know, you see uh, this disappearing ink stuff in like gag pens, or whatever. I don't have a gag pen, but you know. Oh, oh blast, check that out. Blasted. Check that out. I think the lab coat looks a lot better. Hey, do with I get a squirt at you too? Oh, I'm not wearing white. It wouldn't look nearly as cool. And you know, I actually brought a little squirt bottle with me too. Look, doesn't that look great? Looks so much better with blue splotches all over it. Don't you One think right it looks better? One right in the face too. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not that mean. All right, but you know, that's kind of a lot of uh, disappearing ink. It's not quite disappearing as fast as it was on the paper. You have right? to drop me in a pool it's or something now. Not quite, but we did bring with us a little bit of carbon dioxide. <laughs> it's a carbon dioxide fire extinguisher. So to get rid of this disappearing ink on your jacket, you know, we're just gonna... <laughs> hose it down a little bit. <laughs> All right, but you've never done that before. I never, I've never been blasted with a fire extinguisher before. That's cold, too. It is, it is very, very cold. But you can see that disappearing ink is disappearing fairly quickly. You had a large amount on there. And it's gone now, almost. And what's in here is just... Do I get fun. another blast? You then want to some get, more? Uh, we'll one, get rid of the rest One more. It. It makes... <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's very cold. There's actually a little bit of dry ice building up there. It's solid carbon dioxide. 
Um, but the concentrated carbon dioxide, like before, when you were blowing on it, it's getting rid of the stuff on your jacket pretty quickly. Rocking. <laughs> I love it. Who would have thought that you would have been blasted with a fire extinguisher all in a day's work? <laughs> all right, one more time. Mindbender Mansion. It is the new traveling exhibit visiting the Imagination Station. It opens this very weekend. Jesse, thanks so much for joining us for a fun and exciting experiment. It obviously is never what it seems. <laughs> all righty, thanks so much. Mel, do you... You know, do you believe that? I, can I have that fire I extinguisher? I believe it. I'm coming for you next. No. <laughs> <laughs> you better know better. All right. Thank